Um, we, we talk about genetics on this show once in a while and, uh, you know, more like the human pig chimeras, like Alex Jones might say, but, uh, check this out. This is from Engadget.com and, uh, Harvard scientists create a gene editing tool that could rival CRISPR. Everybody know CRISPR? Yeah, we talk about CRISPR once in a while. Check this out. Researchers from Harvard's Weiss Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering have created a new gene editing tool that can enable scientists to perform millions of genetic experiments simultaneously. Oh, well, let's again, let's let's uh, file this with the black black goo from Mars under how could this go wrong? Right. Uh, well, I'll read that one more time. <laughs> this this is a new gene editing tool that can enable scientists to perform millions of genetic experiments simultaneously. Hmm. This sounds like the start of a bad monster movie, does it not? So when it comes to gene editing, CRISPR-Cas9 is probably the most well-known technique these days. It's been making waves in the science world in the past few years, giving researchers the tool they need to be able to easily alter DNA sequences. It's more accurate than previously used techniques, and it has a wide variety of potential applications, including life-saving treatments for various illnesses, right? Gene editing, that's what we're talking about. However, the tool has some major limitations. It could be difficult to deliver CRISPR materials in large numbers, which remains a problem for studies and experiments, for one. Also, the way the technique works can be toxic to cells because the CS9 enzyme, the molecular scissors in charge of cutting strands of DNA, often cuts non-target sites as well. Again, how could this go wrong? Uh, so uh, so there we go. So the Weiss Institute uh, tested RLR on E. What is this? Uh, scientific stuff that if you're not a scientist, at least I don't get. So anyway, I, I, I link this and you guys can uh, can check this out. Do read it and see what's going on with this. But exactly, like like cr CRISPR wasn't efficient enough, right? Uh, so now we need this thing that we can do a million at a time. And they're calling it, let's see, what is this? Yeah. Uh, perform millions of genetic experiments simultaneously. 